Hi everyone, my name is Jordan and I'm a senior designer at the LEGO Group. Hi, and my name's Tom and I'm a graphic designer at LEGO. Today we're going to show you the newest UCS model for LEGO Star Wars. It is the T47 Airspeeder. Or it's more commonly known, the Snowspeeder. This model was a lot of fun to work on. It's one of my personal favorite vehicles in the Star Wars universe. Uh, one of my favorite details to build was the turbo lasers on the side. In the movie, the studio scale one that they used, they are built on a slight angle so that the projectiles can fire to a point. So I tried to replicate that as close as possible just using a pivot point here and here. And for everything that Jordan can't build with bricks, as a graphic designer, our job is to make the model as movie accurate as possible by uh, creating stickers. This is a sticker sheet for the snow speeder. There's quite a few stickers on there. Uh, they really help enhance it and make it just look like it does in the movie. We even got the power couplings on the side here. And also, if you open the cockpit, we have a printed slope decoration there, illustrating a computer. And there's a cool feature at the back here, which I really like. We've uh, done a decoration of the at, -at uh, leg there. And if you turn that, there you get the, uh, the harpoon gun moving at the back. Yep. And for some of you that may have noticed already, we did decide to create a new windshield for the Snowspeeder, just to make it even more movie accurate. Yeah, and we tied that together with some stickers here to create the overall shape. There is a couple of functions on the back. We have the rear air brakes that you can move up and down just manually. But the ones on the top, which you see quite a lot in the movie, you can turn the turbo laser at the back and then raise them up and down as well. And if you raise the stand up... Yeah, you can see the uh, sticker here we have at the bottom. As with all uh, UCS sets, uh, we have a sticker detailing all the technical aspects of the vehicle. You also can see we've got two exclusive minifigures here. Uh, to make them exclusive, we added arm printing to the side, so it's not just the same as a regular uh, Rebel Pilot torso. And you can also see we did uh, two unique uh, helmet prints there. You may be able to guess from that which characters these represent. So yeah, this model was a lot of fun to work on. I really hope you guys have a lot of fun building it. I am getting a bit cold though. Yeah, should, we, too, uh, should we hop back to Echo Base? Yeah, I don't fancy spending the night in a Tauntaun. No. 